Press them to the side and get it going, girl. Get it going. Gotta get it going. All right, let's go. Well, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm here to talk about this hair, okay? Yes, yes, and more yes. Do you know what that means? Okay. <laughs> These are the Zuri Mali Locks. This is what the packaging looks like right here. Let me get it up close for y'all. Right here, Zuri Mali Locks. So the colors I have in is are a two and a one B thirty of the Mali hair, Mali Lock hair. And up top, of course, I have some leave outs. Let me just show you guys what that is. Okay, these are crocheted. So from here back, it's crocheted. These are locks that I actually. Um, created myself with the Zuri Mali hair. Okay, I'll show you a picture of that. But I used the Mali hair for this part. Um, in the demonstration, I used some other hair, but I switched this out because I wanted some more color. And I did a one B thirty mix. I did a one B thirty mix on some of them, and the rest of it is a number two. And then a little sprinkling of like some. 1B27 or something like that. This has got some 27 in it, okay? So all around the perimeter here, I did individual faux locks, okay? And I will be showing you guys how I did that. All of this is just braided to the back, you guys. Okay, as you can see, if I part it here, they're plaits and crocheted in right in here. So again, this is two weeks later after the installation and I have eight plaits going back. That's it, just eight. Now, now I don't like a lot of hair on my head when I do crochets. I don't like it super full, super dense because it just looks unrealistic when there's like so much or so many twists, braids, dreads on your head. I like it to look natural and kind of, you know, a little bit sparse because that, 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 that resonates with more natural to me. So the hair is 14 inches long and I love the texture. I love the texture. It looks realistic, the texture. Let me go ahead and pull it out and show you guys what it looks like straight out of the package. This is a close up of the texture right here. Okay, the ends are tapered as you can see. Again, this is a color number two. These are 14 inches. It has a slight wave to the dread, as you can see. Now you get 12 dreads in a pack, okay? 12 dreads in one pack. Initially, they look very, very neat, but I like that over time, it looks fuzzy and more natural for me, okay? <laughs> Some people like them to say very neat and don't like the fuzz, don't like the frizz. I like that because, again, uh, it just adds to, you know, it not looking so fake. You know what I mean? Like, I, I prefer that. And I'm not gonna say it again. I know I keep saying that. The hair is extremely lightweight. And, and honestly, it may be a little too lightweight because it gets windy where I live now. And when the wind blows, the dreads blow. Like, like, like feather blow, okay? <laughs> It just lifts up and blows, and it's kind of weird to have a dreadlock that's supposed to have a little weight on it to, bl to blow so easily in the wind, you know what I mean? And it's lifting up, and you know, you can see what's happening in there, the crochet. You don't want all that to happen, all right? So that's how lightweight this is, okay? Now, if you add a lot of hair, then you may get a different, it's still gonna be lightweight, but you, you know, you may not be able to see what's happening if the wind blows. Um, I used about five packs of hair for the crocheted area. And again, I have some hair out in the perimeter. So that's why I only use about five packs because again, all of this, I, I did faux locks with myself with different hair. And the hair that I use for this is also made by Zuri. It's called the Molly Braid. And honestly, that's my favorite favorite hair for faux dreads right now. I mean, there's plenty of hair I haven't tried yet, but I love the texture of that hair for uh, wrapping, okay? I used some old cheapy hair uh, for the braid on the inside, and then I wrapped it with the Molly hair, uh, you know, Molly braid hair, I think that's what it's called. Um, and, and I got that from my beauty supply store. Uh, so that's what I use to wrap around the dreadlock. Uh, this, again, this color here is a, a T1B30, I think, or a mix of 1B30, and it just wrapped around here like this. And I love the way this looks. I only use this in the front, and I mix it in with some color number two. And again, I have some, uh, uh, like a couple braids with like a 1B27 in there, and that's about it. Dreads, not braids. It looks extremely realistic. However, it's been two weeks, so I have a lot of frizz going on, a lot of frizz. I don't know if you guys can see how much frizz is happening here, but it's quite a bit, okay? And I'm gonna show you how 
to refresh these, which is very simple to refresh. Okay, let me, I'm trying to get you guys to see the frizz there. Okay, some of these are really, really, really frizzed out. See that? That's a lot of frizz. So what I do, now the maintenance on these is very simple. What I do is I take some soft shea butter, you can use regular or whatever. But I take a little bit of shea butter, just like this on my finger, about that much. That might be a little too much, so I'm gonna knock some of that off. About that much, okay, rub it in my hands like this, just the palms. And I'm gonna take one of these really frizzy dreads, like this one, as you can see. I'm gonna take this one here, as you can see, it is extremely frizzy, right? And I'm just gonna palm roll it. All the way down, like that. And then I'm gonna focus here for a minute, take it again, do it again, and just take it down and palm roll it. And as you can see, it looks a lot better, right? A lot better. The crochet dreadlocks are getting better and better. Better and better. They're just making them more realistic, less worm-like. I don't like the wormy looking ones, you know, so uh, not on me at least. But yeah, I love to wear them over to the side like this. It's like my favorite way to wear them. This is the length of them. Again, it's 14 inches. And these up here, these are my, these are the faux locks I created, you guys, so yeah. All right, so another way I like to wear them is with one of these bands here, and I just flip the hair over. Hopefully you guys can see what's happening. Okay. Pull all the hair through the band just like you would if you were doing like a high puff or something like that, okay. And pull the band, tighten it up. Pull the dreads through, like so. And I just let, I let them fall as they fall, okay? Imperfect and everything, I like it to be messy looking. And I just wear it, I wear it like this, okay? Especially on the days where it's like I'm not doing much, I don't wanna do much, this is what I do. Here's a, here's a close up of the texture and how real <laughs> it looks, especially when you do the perimeter. When you, when you do individuals up here like this, it really makes the crochet look more realistic, okay? And here is a texture shot. You can see all the fuzz. Again, this is two weeks old. They do stick to each other and things. I handle these dreads a lot, okay? I do handle them a lot. If you're curious about the makeup, I do have a tutorial. I will link it somewhere in this video, the text, or in the description box down below, or at the end of the video. You can just click and watch it. But it should be linked somewhere in here. I thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Mm-hmm, yes. I will see you in the next video. Peace. Okay guys, so here I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Molly Lock Crochet Braid. I'm just doing one, it is pre-looped. So you just take your needle, pull it through the braid or the hair, okay? And you pull the other side through the loop, tighten it, and it's just as simple as that. All right, so here's the hair I'm gonna use to uh, install a braid so I can do the faux lock, okay? So here I have some really small twists and I'm just gonna use that as my third piece of hair to install the, uh, the braid, okay? Now this is the braid I'm gonna use to wrap the hair around. So I'm just starting a braid and I'm integrating the fake hair in with my little skinny twist and I'm gonna braid it down past the twist and leave it a loose at the end and you'll see what I mean in just a minute. All right, so here I'm taking a piece of uh, the hair to wrap around the braid that I just created. And I start at the base here, I you know, and just start wrapping the hair around, 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 around. You continue to wrap it and make sure it's nice and taut, but not too tight, because you don't want 
to pull your hair too much. You know, I don't like mine too tight at the root because I'm trying to grow my hair and not pull it out. So you just wrap it all the way down like this, okay? Make sure you use your fingers appropriately to keep it nice and secure around that braid. Alrighty. I wrap a little bit tighter here and then I'm gonna take the hair up the opposite direction, back up the, the, the lock, I can't even talk. I'm twisting the hair back up to secure the end of the lock. And as you can see, even these little strands help to keep the hair nice and secure, okay? So this is what I do to secure the end of the locks. And then I will cut off that remaining piece right here. I'll grab some scissors, okay? And I'm gonna just snip the remaining piece off as you can see right here. And what I did not show you guys is that I'm gonna also burn the end so that it's nice and secure some more. So I'll just burn that in and squeeze, you know, kind of press it with my fingers and that's the end of the faux lock. If you need a more detailed tutorial, there are plenty of tutorials here on YouTube that will explain the faux lock process. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.